Hey, aloha, this is Harry from Kailua. Let's learn song number four of the five song medley today. This song is called Mauna Loa. So let's have a close up. Okay, we're gonna learn Mauna Loa, um, one phrase at a time. Uh, I think what might be helpful for this song is to know certain chord shapes. So um, this is open G tuning, so this is already a G chord. Um, in standard tuning, this used to be C, but now this is tuned to G, which is the same as that. And this is a D, so we have to move that back to E. So this is the C chord shape in slack key tuning. So you're gonna see this used in this song. And then the other chord shape you're gonna see is a D7, which in standard guitar was this, but now if you let go, that's still D7. The only string you don't, I don't play is the fifth string, because that's your G note. And if you add your baby finger there, that's still a D7. You can add that as a passing note. So that's a handy thing to remember there. And you're gonna see this other D7 shape. So what I do here is I, I bar three strings on the fifth fret, a ring finger on the two strings on the seventh fret. You can strum from the fifth, uh, fourth string and include the sixth string. That's another form of D7 that you see in this song. And let's see. Then uh, other things you might see is the double stop things. So if you don't know what double stops are, you can go back to some other shows and memorize those tools. So here we go. Here's um, phrase number one. And here's the tab underneath, so you can follow. Okay, so it's a very slow slide again. These are, this is the finger I use. Now here's the tricky part. When I slide, is when I hit the bass note. And I stay there. And I'm gonna keep that finger there for the next phrase coming up. So here it is again. And again, if that's too much, you can um, maybe make it just the first two measures and loop it. So I'm just looping the first two measures. You can slow it down if you like. And then when you get used to it. So one more time, here's the first phrase. Okay, now the second phrase, my middle finger is still there because it's now it's gonna go into the C chord. Um, you're gonna hammer on these two strings at the same time. And then you're gonna pull off just this one finger. So if you look at the chart. And then you stay there. So here's phrase number two again. So here, here is um, going to the C chord. I'm hitting three strings total. Hammer two, pull off one. And here's a G chord and I do brush backwards with my index. Okay, so let's put the first two phrases together. So here's the first one again. Again, first two phrases. Okay, so let's go on to the third phrase. So I'm gonna be working around a D7 chord. and I hammer on this finger, the baby finger. That's when I hit the bass. Now, I used all, all three fingers on my right hand. Raymond 
most likely Raymond Khan, my teacher, played with one finger. He probably brushed it like this. We'll see. So you could play the whole thing by brushing if you like. But here's the third phrase again. And again. Okay. So here's the fourth phrase. I'm going to start off with this D7. And this is a little bit longer phrase. I'm going from this D7 to this D7, so here's the phrase again. 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 Okay, here's the next phrase. So it's going from this D7, and then I have to do this hammer on and keep my middle finger there. Fast slide there, hit the, and I switch to this D7 shape. Then I move my first finger down into this double stop shape into a G chord. Now, you know, don't be discouraged. These things are pretty tricky. I come from a rock and roll background, and my whole first year of learning slack key with Raymond, driving to his house every week for three years uh, in Nanakuli. The first year, it was an adjustment because I'm doing things with my right and left hand that I've never done in my rock and roll or my classical guitar training. So it's a totally different style. It looks easy, but it's not. So don't worry, it's just be patient and just uh, keep playing the whole melody out anyway. <laughs> so here it is again. Here's a last phrase. This one has a lot of double stops with the sliding parts in it. So here's the first measure. Oops, wrong fret. It's fifth fret. So you start at the fifth fret, you slide this up. While it's ringing, you add that, and then you play these two bass, I mean, two strings. You're in the next double stop, you go back, you're in that double stop shape, and you're at the next one, and then you're at the last one. So what's being used is basically in the melody. So here it is again. So here's all the phrases together. Here's phrase number one. Into phrase number two. Phrase three. Phrase four. Five. Last phrase. And 
once it gets fluid. Okay, so have fun with that. Take your time on it, rewind, and have fun. Aloha, I'll check back.